Hi, I'm Bill with Molly. I'm here to talk to you today about canister style oil filters. Most of you have a canister style filter on your car, probably 90% of you who are watching this. We often refer to it also as a spin-on filter. Turn it this way to install it, turn it this way to deinstall it or uninstall it, so a spin-on filter if you will. The problem is you can never see what's inside of a canister filter when you buy one. So what we've done is got in this little tool cutter here, it's called a filter cutter, and we've actually cut a canister filter apart so you could see the inside. So this is the inside of a Molly spin-on or canister filter. This part here is referred to as the filter element. You can see all of these pleats of paper here. Now in this particular filter you can see we've put a band around here to keep all those pleats stable. It's a tall filter. Those are long pleats. There's a possibility they would start to move and one pleat would touch another and limit the oil filtration capability. So we put this band on here to keep everything nice and uniform. Let me show you some other features of our filters. Notice the end caps here. Ours are steel. Some filter manufacturers make these out of paper or cardboard to save money. This little rubber device right here is called the anti-drain back valve. And when this filter is installed on your car, like so, if the filter happens to face up, what will happen if you don't have that valve is at night all the oil drains out of the filter. And then when you start your engine up in the morning, it clatters and makes a lot of noise. So the anti-drain back valve prevents the oil from draining back out of that filter. Next thing I wanted to show you is the pressure relief valve. That's this little black spot right here. And this is in filters to prevent the filter from becoming clogged and starving the engine for filtration. So if a filter would become clogged because you'd never changed it, this anti-drain, or excuse me, this pressure relief valve here would open and then all the oil would just bypass the filter element and run right back in the engine. That way you could run your car forever and never change the filter. Of course, you'd have no filtered oil. So that, in a nutshell, is what a canister oil filter looks like when you take it apart. Thanks for tuning in. Talk to you soon.